Busy day for you today, Myra, with the Seals making a big announcement. Yeah, very big announcement. Not a very happy day for no. baseball fans here in Victoria, Eric. The Victoria Seals have announced that their franchise is packing its bags and ceasing operations effective immediately. The team says the restrictive conditions of Royal Athletic Park, its lease with the city of Victoria, and the unstable state of the league are responsible. You know, it's, it, it saddens me that, uh, that I have to bring this announcement, and, uh, you know, I tried. But, um, you know, uh, as of today, the Victoria Seals no longer exist. And with that, an emotional Darren Parker closes the book on the Victoria Seals franchise. The president of the team says the lease agreement that he's had with the city of Victoria for the past two seasons has made it impossible for the team to continue to operate. Well, there's three main revenue streams that you see in this business in pretty much all minor league sports. You know, tickets, corporate community, and corporate dollars, and, uh, and concession. And uh, all three of those areas are, are uh, very negatively affected by the facility that we're forced to play in. But more so than the condition of the 40-year-old facility was the SEAL's frustration with using unionized city employees to run the gates and concessions. It created an obvious rift between the two sides, and communication eventually broke down. It was a partnership with us between the city, or so we felt that um, we all want to make this work. You know, I'll be honest with you, the facility coordinator basically did not talk to us for the last, the better part of the last two years. She uh, had it out for us, and it really affected our operation. The city says they were willing to sit down and listen to some of the SEAL's concerns during lease negotiations. Uh, we had met once with the um, with the team to hear um, some of their concerns and some of their wants as we move forward and we had left that meeting with a with a commitment to meet again and discuss those items in detail and and the news now is, is that it doesn't sound like we'll be meeting. But it's not the first time we've seen an anchor tenant pull out of the park on Caledonia. Junior football left twice. Uh, Hattie Abassi uh, uh, just low the city of Victoria and Royal Athletic Park and you know that's why the Vancouver Island Raiders are in Nanaimo they're you know that was that was the Victoria Rebels and he had had enough and he left and when, once we resurrected the Rebels we left too and there was talk that the Victoria Highlanders FC were considering locating from the West Shore to downtown Victoria owner Alex Campbell jr. says not likely. We're not the kind of people, Darren and myself, who, who make threats. Like you just do your business as best you can. You got a, a number where you can't go beyond, and then, and uh, that's that's where it is. And obviously, he was never intending to make money. I'm never intending to make money. We're maybe we're wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. And uh, the world doesn't want sports franchises. I mean, we're just you know dreamers. Well, it wasn't just the strained relationship between the city and the Victoria Seals that resulted in the team's demise. Travel costs in the current state of the Golden Baseball League also played a starring role. The real losers here are the fans. Attendance was up from 93,000 in year one to 116,000 last season. Some rabid fans sounded off at this afternoon's press conference. And I'd just like to know, what was my curse? What did I do in a past life that sentenced me to a town without a baseball team. Howie Siegel loves baseball. The only thing as strong as his love for the game is his anger when it's taken away. Howie and best friend John Canton have attended three funerals for pro ball in Victoria. I said goodbye to the Muscles Blues. We said goodbye to the Capitals. Capital. And this is the third time. And you know, in every one of those press conferences, it was basically the same thing. The ballpark itself and the city's relationship to the unions that doomed all three teams. Royal Athletic Park is run and staffed by unionized city employees who in some cases made more than the players on the field. A News contacted the union, QP50, and did not receive a response by airtime. SEALs owner Darren Parker, though, treads a little lighter than Howie. Uh, you know what, it is what it is, uh, and, and um, you know, uh, I certainly don't want to end up like Hoffa, so uh, I'm going to keep my, my mouth shut. And the way things work within the confines of the municipality of Victoria are sometimes uh, something that you just can't do anything about. From the city's perspective, it wasn't about making concessions on concessions. The city actually makes no profit off having the Victoria Seals in that facility. It's, there's no profit margin built in. Clearly our, our, our want and desire is to see family-friendly, affordable baseball in Victoria. Um, but there's no profit margin built in for, for the city. These furious fans are experts in the game and the grub. 
Howie owns Pagliacci's, and John is the John in John's place. I have four tickets for each game and a corporate sponsor, and I feed all the teams. And Howie remains red hot about red hots. They sell garbage in the concessions. Garbage. The hot dogs are from hunger. I, I can make a better in my bathroom, a better hot dog. <laughs>